don't latch on to the idea that you know everything about the people that you are spending time with. What is your central strategy for defrauding people? They all say the same thing. Get them under the ether. Under the ether? Ether is a heightened emotional state where you're no longer thinking rationally, but you're reacting emotionally. The crush or the kill is emotionally driven. It's not logic. I think I was meant to bring in new information to this world about... compassion and getting over things I don't think that we know how to do that I don't think that we know what forgiveness really is and I don't think we know why these things go on and I feel like I have this amazing ability now and I'm watching it with people every day not only to teach people why this stuff occurs but also what to do to prevent it and I think that more than that I can one of the major purposes is for me to be like an example for people. And this explains why so many people actually fall in for this stuff. You say, how could somebody that smart fall for this? It's not their intellect that's engaged when they make that decision. It's the emotion. It's like I look at these scars now and I can't hate where I've been without hating where I am. So, so I, I look at them and it's like, I can tell based on like, like this one, for example, was made by the group during a ritual, I can feel the feeling where I was then and versus the feeling in the life I've created now. And it's like this really pretty roadmap of a soul progression. So when someone is lying, their body will send conflicting physical and verbal cues. That is simply because lying actually takes up a lot of mental effort. So when someone is telling a lie, they are trying to create a, f a false story and they are also trying to hide a true story. He was capitalizing like they all do. People who are majorly successful perpetrators, they capitalize on truths. And that's why they get so good at telling lies. If you, t if you tell eight truths in one lie, the person's going to accept the lie. So he was basically working on what he already saw present, like I said, to do exactly what he did. I had no reason to doubt that. So if, if he was like sitting there like he was often with me at a cafe and would say something like that, I had no reason to come up against it. Normal people would blush or sweat or tremble if they dared stretch the truth to the same degree. However, for the psychopath, lying is as easy and natural as breathing. And he stole me out of bed a few times as well before he trained me to wake up, which was quite easy for him to do. He just employed like your basic Pavlov's response stuff. So, so I would wake up 3.22 a.m., walk out to the end of the driveway, and, and he'd pick me up and we'd go do these cult rituals. The psychopath's logic dictates that everything bad is always someone else's fault. And he was like a really educated, super charismatic, your typical sociopath type of a person who could have just pulled one on anybody. He, he was really friendly, really charming, super handsome. So that was that personality. The other personality, which he called Egnever, ironically, was like super evil. Hand in hand with the psychopath's extraordinary ability to lie comes the ability to manipulate others for their own benefit. Having spent their lifetime studying us, Psychopaths are masters of manipulation and experts on knowing how to push our buttons to use our emotions against us. They use this ability to keep those around them confused, unable to think clearly, and off balance. Psychopaths also learn very early how their personalities can have traumatizing effects on the personalities of non-psychopaths and how to take advantage of this for the purpose of achieving their goals. I don't actually agree with the people who are coming up with these theories that psychopathy is something which is inborn and genetic. I don't believe that. Because I got a front row seat to more than a few of these people. And the reality is, is that they come from extremely traumatic situations and that's what turns them off emotionally and makes them not only want to but capable of doing the things that they keep doing. So when you get a front row seat to the suffering which creates the very condition that makes these people the way they are, I can't hate them with the same amount of vehemence, I guess, as I did to, to begin with.